Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and on this episode we're going to be doing a review of a Swing Vision and I know I know that YouTube is flooded with reviews of the Swing Vision from all kinds of YouTubers but it's 2022 out there and I thought that I'm going to be able to provide my own take on the app and the whole idea behind it. Uh, if you will like this review and if you'll uh, find that you'll benefit from the app itself uh, please use my referral link to download it. Uh, this will uh, save you like 20 bucks or something and it will give you a two-week free trial, I believe. Uh, so I'll, I will link it in the description. Now, on to the review. Okay, it's 2022 out there. I have been using this app for exactly a year. In fact, today I got a notification that my subscription, subscription auto-renewed. And uh, what can I say? Um, this, whenever I discovered the app first, I got a vibe that this, um, well, the Swing Vision was kind of positioning the self saying that like, oh, and by no means I'm, I'm not affiliated with the company. The, the way I felt about it is they positioned themselves as this app that is going to uh, improve your game, is going to help you improve, it's going to highlight the areas of weaknesses and, and, and yada, yada, yada. Did I find that to be true? Not really. Uh, the way... And here I'm gonna explain why um, and why actually still why I still like this app a lot. First of all, there are three uh, types of tennis uh, players. There are uh, YouTubers like like me out there, right? Not a small, uh, not a very big population. There are there are pro athletes uh, that are that play ATP tournaments. Um, those guys probably don't even watch my channel. Um, and then there are two more, um, actually, the, the, the juniors who already can uh, perform really well and they are probably going to go play college. And uh, finally, just um, uh, recreational little players, not like without any age categories, that, that, that enjoy playing USDA tournaments in leagues that are between 3.0 to 3.0 to 5.0 level. So. Each one of so the the first uh, the for the YouTubers why this app could be good if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Obviously, for me the biggest value is that it cuts the clips for me, so I don't have to sit there and um, cut every single uh, cut, cut every single set or something like that and leave out the boring stuff. It does it automatically, which is super nice. That kind of feature also, it's well this is basically the most valuable feature for me. The other feature that I discovered recently that helps me a lot is the um, is the Apple Watch app because it tracks you stuff like heartbeat. It lets you control the camera from your watch. That way, you don't have to be going back and forth and thinking like, oh, what? How's my camera look like? I need to adjust it. Is it still recording? All that kind of stuff. It takes out some of the headache away from my uh, game. Now, aspiring juniors. Uh, why this app could be um, could be interesting for you is now when I go to tournaments I see a lot of um, a lot of people they bring cameras with them uh, usually it's a GoPro camera uh, but this the video the video clips that you will see here are all shot on iPhone 13 and obviously this this app works only on iOS uh, so those people who come into the tournaments with uh, GoPros imagine the time that you're still gonna be sitting and uh, looking all how you like pick up balls and all that kind of all, all kind of boring stuff this app will help you to speed out the process of analysis essentially like you're going to be sitting with your coach looking at the set that you lost or won and then you're going to be able to um your coach will be able to help you or you're going to be able to help yourself just watching watching the match a little bit more efficiently a little bit quicker quicker um because again time is money right now uh, the last category of people who this app could be interesting to is uh, recreational level players uh, because it's fun. Like, I mean, the app is simply fun. Uh, you can, you can, uh, I really love the feature. Oh, and I, I must say, I'm not going to go through all the little menus on the phone uh, or Apple Watch. There are plenty of YouTubers who have done it. I'm just going to take my, the purpose of this video is like, okay, what, are, what is it there for you in this app? Uh, now, for the recreational level players, like I said, it's fun. Um, even for me, I am technically a recreational level player. Um, it is fun for me too. Uh, the, the app is whenever you're done with a session, the app highlights stuff like five longest rallies, five best shots, uh, five fastest serves, um, whatever. So it's just fun to use. And now, and even when I use this app on, the, on my YouTube channel, 
a lot of people, the first people, like first one of the first comments was always like, oh, how fast is your surf? Oh, this surf is slow. Yes, Swing Vision has a problem of understating the surf. Even the, even when you have a perfect setup, and it's uh, from what I found, it's it's the most important part of this is uh, to have the net tape not cover the service line, which is actually harder to do to do uh, than you think. That is, but even when you have the best setup, um, it's still going to understate um, the, the, the surf speed severely. It may not understate shots as much, like the, I found that shots are actually uh, fine. Like I mean, you, uh, it's, it's not that, that understated. My guess is because like the way the way the, the way the app works, I'm just guessing. Um, it just it looks at the distance of the cord and tries to somehow come up with like the time that uh, the ball covers like covers the cord. Uh, but they probably have a lot of training data uh, that they trained the, basically their AI on. But if you think about it, 90% of that 90% of that data are gonna be just normal forehands and backhands, right? There's gonna be much less serving. So my guess is that that's just what I noticed that it performs well on, on strokes, but not as well on the serve regarding the speed. Maybe because they uh, didn't train it on the serve as much. Now. Um, as you can see also here on the screen, you do have stuff like shot placement and uh, well, that's pretty much it, right? On the screen you have this, this, the speed of the surf and the shot placement. Shot placement uh, for normal conditions, it's not important at all in my opinion, no matter who you are and what kind of player you are. The only, the only time when it could be of a value is when you're, um, you're training with a, with a basket or you're training with a ball machine. All right, so you go out there, you hit all the four and cross courts. You want to know how many you made in, how many you didn't make in, um, what's the average speed, and so on. Right, and or are you training a certain pattern, like two cross one line. You want to see a progression over time. Am I making more down the line shots? I'm guessing less than one percent of people will actually go through the trouble to sit there and like actually analyze that data, but it's possible, right? But but going back to the Going back to the uh, to the question is like okay why uh, and this app could be of interest of interest to someone in my opinion it's a like I said it's a great app uh, a lot of different categories of people can benefit from it in one way or another like I said uh, some people will find that it cuts the clips efficiently for you that way you just you just can you're advanced level player you can sit and just analyze your game and save all of that in the cloud. Or you're a recreational player, you go uh, have fun with friends, you want to record when something fun happens, you want to put it on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, and then just laugh with your friends uh, while drinking beer uh, at your country, country club after a doubles match. Right? That's, that's fun, right? And so that's why this app is cool. Um, that's it. Oh, okay, one last thing actually, what's also cool about this app. Apple Watch, in my, the Apple Watch app in my opinion is slightly underrated. Um, like I said, it tracks. Um, it very, it's very interesting that it tracks um, the steps and uh, like the steps that you did, the heart rate, the calories you burned, um, the shot, the shot speed uh, that appears in the app. Like I said, not, to me, it's not too, too important. Uh, but a lot of people, a lot of recreational level players, they are why are they doing tennis? Is that they're doing it because it's a great workout, right? Being able to track your workout and uh, tailor specifically for tennis. Is, is important and it's also interesting. Um, I always, like I didn't expect it actually, but I always enjoy watching how, what, what distance I ran in a match, what kind of heart rate I had um, back when I was um, trying to get back in shape. Uh, my heart rate went all the way up to 180 at some point. Um, definitely not the healthiest uh, thing to do out there, especially in the Texas, uh, Texas climate, yeah, Texas summer climate I should say. But yeah, um, that's really it on the app itself. Uh, enjoy some of, the, some of this footage that I uh, recorded for you. Uh, just one last thing to say, I, for my matches, I used to, I used to sit and um, also track the score manually, like, you know, 15 all, 15, uh, 30, 15. The, the app has a capability of, um, on, on the watch, you have to track it, like whenever you're tracking a point by point, you have to swipe up up and down uh, to be able to, um, uh, to, no, to be able to keep the score, and I'm gonna show you here in a second. 
Uh, the only the only weird thing, so so it's gonna look like this, right? Uh, hopefully you can see it. So if I, um, well, you, of course you're not gonna see it, right? You probably have to see it on my or whatever. Um, if you swipe up, it's gonna be your opponent's point. If you swipe down, it's gonna be your point. Um, very intuitive, but there is gonna be one, there is always one thing that I didn't figure out. It actually, after you swipe up, after you lost or won the point, it asks you uh, what kind of shot was it, back and not forced there, back and winner. I didn't actually find a way to turn it off, um, but it's super annoying because I don't know, like, who has the time to go out there and, like, think, oh, was that back and forced or unforced there, right? But anyway, a um, couple of small, not even bugs I should say, but just nicks in here, but overall, greatly build the app. Mostly, um, what you're gonna find is that it's just simply fun, it just, make, it just adds a little bit more fun to tennis, right? And then why are we doing it? Is we doing it for fun, right? And it's just another little piece of fun uh, to track your, to, to track your um, matches, watch with your friends and analyze yourself if you're, um, if you're a junior looking to play college or playing competitive matches. That's it for me. That's my short and sweet take. Enjoy selling this footage and um, I'll see you in the next video.